Uh, we were just overwhelmed by the vastness of the material. Um, we really dealt with two art histories over the period of 50 years, and we always had to think about that this is not the two histories of two different nations, but two artificially created countries who actually form one nation. This is a Germany that is divided into four zones, into uh, the British, the American, the French, and the Russian zones. And Berlin, of course, is divided equally into, into four zones. And finally, then, in 1949, we have the actual division of the two Germanys into the um, uh, Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, and the German Democratic Republic, East Germany. And it's also interesting because normally you always say uh, German art is so intellectual and it's so, you know, conceived through so many abstract thought processes. And if you look at that, it's more actually the body and um, this, you know, sensory mm -hmm. mechanism of the body through which conflicts are worked out. This, would, this material would just be forgotten. In the former East, the works of um, East German artists that have been collected are today, for the most part, in the basements. In West Germany, it never really was collected at all. So it would have been very hard, I think, down the road to bring all this material together. And I think I really felt that this was a way to kind of capture something that would be very strange and very difficult to to focus on much later.